Black sitcoms often include subplots about how the families in the United States are living in a hostile country and white people around every corner supposedly hate them. An entire episode of ABC's sitcom Blackish was about how America supposedly hates black people, with the lead character telling members of her family that repeatedly throughout the entire show. The one kind of movie Hollywood loves to make, more than crime thrillers or action adventures or superhero movies, are ones that highlight how racist white people are. Historical dramas about how awful white people are and how the films reflect what's still happening today come out every year. Some of them... Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakadash, is all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. By Hashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, like, preaching the word and truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabal, the Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And I had to. Uh, I have to make a response to this, man. Esau's hella mad because his wickedness being put on the forefront now. This is the same dude that'll <laughs> go out there and show how stupid the average everyday American person is by walking on the street and doing these little random ass interviews with these people on the street, right? He even did the one where it says, uh, should we uh, ban the Bible? He did one where he said, should we ban the Bible? Right? And here it is. He's he sitting there, got his car on the screen, talking shit. And this is why you, Jake, need to fucking sit here and re realize who you fucking dealing with. These devils do hate you. They have no respect for you. They look at you like you're next to nothing. And, and these devils... Should by you be looked like looked at as they are are nothing, not even next to nothing, right? And that's a scriptural mindset because when you go to Isaiah, I think it's um, let me get it. Isaiah forty and fifteen. It says um. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. If you had a whole bucket full of water and a drop fell out, you ain't going to waste your time worrying about the fucking drop. It says, the nations are as the drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of a balance. If you had a whole bunch of gold on a scale and a little bit of gold dust chipped off and fell off the scale, you're not worried about it. It's not going to tip the scale. Right? Behold, he take up the aisles as a very little thing. Right? The Lord said the nations are another, right? It says, in Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts there are sufficient for a burnt sacrifice. All the nations before him are as nothing. They are counted as less than nothing in vanity. So the Lord sees you devils as nothing, man. You go to the book of Second Ezra. Right? Forget where it is. Let me put in a word. Um... You know, book of second Ezra still out there. Try to get this stuff to charge. It says, um Second Ezra six and fifty six, it says, As for the other people, right? Which also come of Adam. Right? So everybody came out of what? Adam, right? Because it went to Adam, to uh, Noah, Ham, Sham, and Japhet. Right? And all the nations came out of that. It says, as for the other people who also come of Adam, that was said they are, they are nothing but be likened to spittle, right? And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. They're nothing. So the heathen really nothing. I'll tell you that for free, Esau. And another free bit for you, right? Because this devil tries to act like he they, they pulled out these statistics. Esau loves statistics, 
right? There was a comment on here. It says something like the 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 five percent of the population that counts for, and they were talking about so called black male. Here it is. Imagine being a group that are five percent the adult males of the population who are responsible for seventy five percent of violent crime and still want a society to feel sorry for you. And this is what they're doing. They're talking about uh, the so-called Negro, Judites, the Judite male. When you go to this comment, people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was even one where this dude said, man, he said he hated going to school with him, and he was glad when they moved to the country. Right? So these devils really do have a fond hatred, right? Which is fine. They're supposed to. The scriptures tell you that they would. Right? You go back to the prophecy. The Lord said what? When he was gonna we were gonna have enmity between each other, man. Between the between the seed of the woman and the serpent. Right? So Israel wasn't gonna agree with you devils, but this whole five percent of uh, Jake being the uh the main people that commit violent violent acts that well Jake commits that shit against each other, right? Against themselves. They're self-destructive. Esau goes through the whole wor world destroying everybody else. And that's what they don't like. They don't like when you bring out their history and the truth of their existence. Right? Material, but Look at this devil's face. Mad. Hot. Through. Because the truth of the matter is, everybody sees that you're the damn devil on the earth, right? And the Lord said, what? He was going to be. Let me get this. So, but I wanted to, it says, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that are greatly despised. So everybody's turning against them. So when they try to say that the war on so-called white people, <laughs> that's the Lord said he was going to have war with Amalek from generation to generation. And that's one of the, 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 the tribes of the Edomites. Right. What you're seeing now is is the curse is turning on you. That 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 veil you had over the people to believe that you were just this great benevolent soul. You were the voice of reason and in righteousness and immorality. That shit's fading away because people are taking note that you devils are really just just fucking murderers, evil malicious souls, man. Just Jeremiah fifty. Get this Jeremiah 50 and uh and seven. All that are found in them shall be devoured. So like you all that found them devoured them, talking about the Israelites. Everyone who found us devoured us. And their adversary said, We offend not. And these devils be really believe that they didn't make any offenses. They're 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 these that they did within history as a people. They think those things don't matter because they themselves didn't commit those acts. Well, if that was the case, right? If that was the case, then every generation can say that and, and the, the wickedness just keeps going with no judgment being done. How many of them damn slave owners got to go down to the grave with never paying an inch, with never paying a cent, one drop of blood for all the rape, robbery, murder, killing, stealing, beating, thrashing, that they did to, to the so-called so Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans when they put them in slavery. How many of them got to just go, go down to the grave and live peacefully? Right? The scriptures tell you the Lord requires that which is past. So everything that your forefathers did, you're going to pay for. Right? You're not going to get away with it. It's not going to, it's not going to slide. Right? In the book of Job, let's get that, man. It says, uh,
Let me get this. Gotta get it. Here is Job 21 and 19. It says, The Most High lifts up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. So the Lord sees everything that your children did. Right? He sees everything that your forefathers did. And he's storing those things up. Just like Pharaoh. He let Pharaoh keep messing up. He hardened his heart until the time came where the Lord put out the judgment. And now everybody's taking a note of you. Everybody's pointing just like that. All those fingers are pointing at the devil, right? It says, all that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, we offend not. This is how Esau walks around. What was done as nations, they don't even take count of. But what's done against, <laughs> what Jake do again among themselves, destroying themselves, makes them to be the worst. But you devils will come past sea and land, right? The scriptures tell you that, that they're as death and as hell. But somehow you're not a problem in the earth. It says, because they have sinned against Yahweh, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, the uh, the hope of their fathers. Right? These devils really believe that what they did ain't nothing compared to what you Negroes are doing to your damn selves, in your own communities, among yourselves. Yeah, Jake is fucked up. I'm not going to lie. So-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, man, they're fucked up. Right? And the Lord is going to deal with them in due time pretty soon. But uh, like it says in the book of uh, Ezra. This is. Um, Second Ezra 3 and 34 it says, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now and the balance and there's also that dwell in the world that that dwell in the world, and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. So when the balance is to get shown up, you devils far exceed anything that we've done. Right? Ezekiel 35, I'll start at 10. It says, Because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas Yahweh was there, and these devils knew exactly who he who he wore. When they went over there to the, to the west coast of Africa to get us. They knew who we were when Christopher Columbus sailed to uh, to America. Uh, 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 because he brought Hebrew interpreters. They knew who, who they were in the land already. Right? How do you think they were able to separate the so-called Negro from the, from the actual Hamites in, in the west coast of Africa? Because what? They had the customs. They were wearing rocket fringes. They dealt a different way than the fucking Hamites. Right? Therefore, as I live, say Yahweh, I will even do, do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. And that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which I have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are laid desolate. They are given us to consume because these devils don't take accountability for any other situation. Here it is. We in your hands. You set up the damn laws. Your nation set up the damn laws. We're in your hands. We, we, we came out of slavery. They didn't know nothing but the damn field. And this is the state of what we are in your kingdom. The scriptures tell you, as is the ruler, so are the people. So if Jake is over here being a nigga, where do you think they learned those behaviors from? Such are the rulers, so are the people. Who's ruling the world? Right? But they ultimately believe they didn't do anything wrong. Because, <laughs> because in their neighborhoods, they feel like when they police, they're fair and equitable. But when they go to the hood, they tell you, <laughs> they they know damn well that, that they violently abused Jake way more than they would have Edomite. He even brought up a, a scenario with the whole show Cops in his video. I encourage brothers to watch it. This devil's a devil. But he brought up a, uh, 
a scenario with uh, this whole show Cops, where the director of the show purposely didn't show interactions between Cops and, and Jake, and only showed it between Edomites. Well, when you watch Cops, niggas very, very rarely ever fucking blew a fucking Edomite away. But let it let it be known they were showing Jake all day. You would have had that every other episode. Or every episode. It's just truth. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with the truth, Esau. So Romans 9. And 19. Thou will say unto 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 me. Oh, I gotta start up. I started at 16. So then it was not of him that will it. So I can, it was not of him that will it, nor of him that runneth, but the Most High that showeth mercy. Uh, it says, uh, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised, raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore hath he, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, in whom he will, he hardeneth. Will thou say then unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? Or who sh who hath resisted his will? And these devils look at the situation like that. Manifest destiny. You niggas are at the bottom because that's where you belong to be. That's what they believe. That's really what they believe, man. So when it comes down to taking self-accountability for the state of Jake, even though Jake fucked up on their own, because they're under the curses. These devils won't want to take any responsibility. Now, when, when the fingers start pointing back to who's in the power seat, now they got a problem. The Psalms 15 and 16, I'll end it on this one, man. It says, uh, but unto the wicked, the most I say, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenants in thy mouth? Who are the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4 tells you to eat, eat them is the wicked. So-called white man. It says, seeing thou, hast, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee. Look at the society these devils have built. Right? Last I checked, Esau is the one that was sitting there filling up the office seats in the Senate. Not so-called Negroes. Right? It says, uh, when thou sawest a thief... Then thou consensus with him and has been partakers with adulterers. All right, these these devils they're okay with it. Their whole history is about Edomite devils. They they set up statues and for a while there they were tearing them down. They're the same murderers and thieves, right? Thou givest thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou speakest and thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's children, and this is just a form, another form of a slander, trying to act like it's unjust that they're pointing fingers at them, where, where the fingers should really be pointed at you fucking tribes. That's what they're saying. Y'all the fucking problem. We're not the problem. We're all that's good in the world. That's what he really believes. He really believes that. And this is the sentiment of all these stuff. Is like, like, go to the comment board, bro. Go to the damn comic board. You're right. Ever since the liberal big boom, uh, theater in general has has suffered. Uh, been watching you for a long time, Mark. As a dark Indian, most of us are also conservative. Uh, so just now, just so just know you're not you're not alone. It's a damn heathen. Right? I am white. I'm not ashamed. I love who I am. Other people can't get over it. The end. Well, the scriptures tell you the shame is going to cover these devils, man. Right? So really take a, take a gander at this, man. Really go through the comments, man. Take your time. Shalom.